Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a splash screen using the official Android API method. Okay, so traditionally we used to create splash screen that consists of an extra activity then handler, right? Android said, let's make it easy for you and hence they released an API that will create splash screen in just few simple steps. Also, this Kotlin series will cover all the important topics from beginner to intermediate to advanced. And once you are confident enough about all the topics, then we will move on to creating our Kotlin projects. Okay? Alright, with that said, let's begin with creating our project. So here, beginners have a lot of confusion with empty activity and empty views activity. So let me clear it for you. The latest Android Studio that is Flamingo has kept empty activity as a Jetpack Compose empty activity, which we will surely cover in Jetpack Compose series. But for now, our old empty activity has become empty views activity. Okay? So if you are currently using an old version of Android Studio, then click on empty activity. And if you are using the latest Android Studio, then click on empty views activity. Then click on next. Name it as Snapchat Splash Screen. Keep everything as it is. Make sure that the language is Kotlin. And then click on finish. Close all the tabs. We will be doing everything step by step. So there are six steps. Let's start with our step number one. That is adding logo into a drawable folder. So go to drawable folder. Then copy your logo. And paste it in the drawable folder. Perfect. Also in the latest method, you have to be very specific with the icon size. Otherwise it will overlap each other. So at the end of this video, I have mentioned the icon size. Now let's move on to our step number two. That is adding dependency in the Gradle file. So go to build.gradle module. This is where we are going to add a dependency. The API dependency is present in the official Android documentation. So go to this link. I'll put the link in the description box. Click on Kotlin, copy the dependency and paste it in the Gradle module. Remove the brackets then click on sync now and it's done. Now moving on to a step number 3 that is adding color in the colors.xml. So go to colors.xml, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the line, write the color name as yellow and hex code as FFFC00. Okay, as we are creating Snapchat splash screen, so we have used yellow color. Now let's move on to a step number four that is theme, a very important step. This is where we are going to set our splash screen background as well as icon. So watch carefully. This is our parent theme, means our entire app theme. So obviously it is our main activity theme as well, right? But we can't give the same theme to our splash screen because we need a splash screen with full screen as well as background color and logo. Hence, we will create a separate style for it. Name it as theme.app.splashscreen and keep the parent as theme.splashscreen. Now inside it, we will add three parameters. First for background color, second for icon and third for main activity. So first let me write window splash screen background. And set the color as yellow. Control plus D to duplicate the line. So second we will write window splash screen animated icon. You can keep an animation icon or a simple image. Anything will work. So add Snapchat logo which we stored in the drawable folder. Then again Ctrl plus D to duplicate the line. Here we will mention the item name as post splash screen theme. That means which theme should be displayed after the splash screen, right? So it has to be our parent theme, okay? So mention it as page.theme.snapchat splash screen as it is. And then 
Now, step number five, that is adding theme to our Android manifest. So go to androidmanifest.xml. Here we already have our parent theme, but we need to add the initial theme that is our splash screen theme on main activity. So write theme and add the splash screen theme which we separately created, right? And done. Now step number six and our final step is to call splash screen. So go to main activity. So over here we have to mention two things. First is to set the duration of the splash screen, right? Like for how many milliseconds it will be displayed. And second is to call install splash screen method. So make sure to write both the code before set content view, okay? So write thread dot sleep. And I'll keep it as 3000 milliseconds. You can keep as per your requirement, okay? Then API provide us with a very easy method that is install splash screen. So click on it. And that's it. So we are done with all these six steps. Now let's run the app. See, it works perfectly. And also after splash screen is over, we are automatically redirected to main activity. Let me show it again. As I previously said about the icon size, so in the same documentation itself, it is mentioned that app icon with an icon background should be 214 to 240 dp and app icon without an icon background should be 288 into 288 dp. Okay. So yeah, that is it for the video. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.